we need supplements something that most of our patients keep asking me before i give you a binary answer let us try to understand why do we need it why don't we need it if so what are the other options the first part why do we need it if there is acute deficiency say for example if the vitamin d levels are less than 7 and you are living in a colder country with no access to direct sun then in that case of course yes you need supplements but if not you do not need supplements and this applies to almost all kinds of vitamin supplements mineral supplements and protein supplements so how do we figure out whether we need it or not if you are experiencing severe symptoms do not have access to ayurvedic practitioner then in that case you can pop in a pill but is that a permanent remedy no and that is because one experiences vitamin deficiencies either because of gut dysbiosis or malabsorption from the gut or because he is not consuming the right kind of food because in any case whatever you need will be obtained from the food provided you are having a balanced meal ayurvedically now coming to what can go wrong if you consume supplements on a regular basis in case of fat soluble vitamins it can lead to toxicity especially when in large quantities and second it can lead to toxicity in general all over the body because ultimately it is the liver which is responsible for cleansing your system and any kind of excess load is not acceptable and therefore i do not recommend supplements instead what we do is we first work on your gut almost everybody in today's world has some or the other form of gut dysfunction it is either hyper appetite which is fluctuating kind of appetite or manda agni wherein there is not much of strong hunger pang or there is leaky gut which means incomplete bowel evacuation or some or the other form of bowel issues with that what happens is the proper absorption of nutrients especially vitamins and minerals does not happen from the food Now the first step is to clear this concern. The second step would be to consume the right kind of food. I'm talking about eating ayurvedically, wherein every single tissue in your body is nourished properly. Ayurvedically understood there are seven tissues and they are called sapta dhatus. So if you can consume food which are capable of nourishing all the seven tissues and the ojas of your body, then you are taken care. The first one rasa which is almost equivalent to plasma for that you don't need anything major but eating simple warm nourishing meal you can think about soups khichdi warm rice and dal and some amount of sabzi and anything that is easy to digest and does not take more than 3 hours to be out of your system and give you the next appetite second one rakta almost equivalent to blood and this can be nourished the best with the help of raisins pomegranate and dates and the next one mamsa which is muscle tissue for this cow's ghee does a good job if you're not a person who's into cow's ghee then you can go for goats or lamb's meat next is medas for that the cow's ghee cow's milk any kind of fat be it sesame oil or coconut oil does the job the fifth one asti dhatu nothing better than sesame seeds under the sixth dhatu which is the manja dhatu comes to brain spinal cord and bone marrow and that is best furnished with the help of nootropic herbs or the brain tonic herbs like blue pea jatamansi brahmi along with cow's ghee and seventh tissue the most important tissue of the body shukra dhatu or the reproductive hormones they can be fetched with the help of uradan and nothing better than cow's milk If these seven tissues are properly formed with the help of good food and the tissue specific food then the eighth dhatu or the eighth essence of the body which is ojas will be well formed and that is when one experiences the most energy enthusiasm and clarity of senses now if you are a person who has been eating well including all this have a good gut health good amount of energy clarity of senses rest assured you do not need supplements for the others who are struggling with one or the other issue 
like fatigue, numbness, joint pain, skin issues, you are going to need supplements only if you are unable to find a good Ayurvedic physician to help you with these issues. If not, you can opt for supplements. Hope that helps.